If Paul Lynch's Prophet Song were a horror novel, it wouldn't feel nearly as terrifying. But his story about the modern-day ascent of fascism is so contaminated with plausibility that it's impossible not to feel poisoned by swelling panic. I woke up three mornings in a row from nightmares Lynch had sown in the soil of my jittery brain. Prophet Song, which won Britain's Booker Prize on Sunday, describes how the fibers of political decay get caught in the lungs. The racking cough of tyranny precedes the illness, the horrible death. But rather than survey the whole body of governmental putrefaction, Lynch focuses on the travails of one woman struggling to protect her family in Dublin. Eilish Stack is a respected microbiologist, a mother and the wife of a union leader. After a long day of work, she craves only a spot of peace and renewal. But if you remember the first line of, 1984, it was a bright cold day in April, and the clocks were striking 13, you'll hear the opening of, Prophet Song, as a sepulchral echo. The night has come and she has not heard the knocking. That knocking in the nighttime, the implacable salutation of the KGB and security agents the world over, is the first in an uninterrupted series of perversions of the social order. The two plainclothes men who ask Eilish about her husband are polite and solicitous. It's nothing to worry about, Mrs. Stack, one says. We don't want to be taking up any more of your time. The moment they leave, though, Eilish realizes they've left something behind, something that runs as fast as Lynch's unstoppable phrases. This feeling now that something has come into the house, she wants to put the baby down, she wants to stand and think, seeing how it stood with the two men and came into the hallway of its own accord, something formless yet felt. She can sense it skulking alongside her as she steps through the living room. Eilish is a carefully drawn portrait of affection and grit. She knows and doesn't know what the officers want with her husband, Larry. You hear the talk, she tells him later that night, the kind of things that are said to be going on these past few months. Since the Emergency Powers Act was passed, the whole country has been itching with anxiety. But Larry imagines his work with the teachers' union can't possibly be labeled seditious. There are still constitutional rights in this country, he insists. And yet the next labor demonstration is violently broken up by police. Larry is detained without access to counsel or visitors, and then he's disappeared. Lynch keeps the details of this national emergency vague. We hear the helicopter blades and the explosions, but mostly we see the wheel of disorder coming loose, as it's reflected in Eilish's eyes. And why not? The tune may differ, but every authoritarian regime sings the same lyrics. Subversive forces inciting discord, unrest and hatred against the state must be destroyed.